Hi. Now in this question, we've got this particle P here of mass M, and it moves on the smooth inner surface of this hemispherical bowl of radius R. The bowl, we're told, is fixed with its rim horizontal. And the particle moves with constant angular speed, root 3g over 2r, in a horizontal circle at a depth of d below the centre of the bowl. So in part a, we've got to find then in terms of m and g the magnitude of the normal reaction of the bowl on p, and then go on in part b to find d in terms of r. Now, in order to do this question, what I want to do is draw a sketch of the particle P moving around the inner surface then of this hemisphere. So this is part of our hemispherical bowl, and this is the particle P. And the forces acting on P will be its weight, mg, mg newtons. We've got a normal contact force, which I'll call R. Newtons, and it's moving around this circle here of radius, well, let's just say we call that distance there x, okay? So it's moving around the radius x. And that means that there's going to be an acceleration acting towards the center of that circle. And because we've got the angular speed here, let's say we call it omega, then we should be familiar with the acceleration towards the centre is omega squared times the radius, which will be x. So in other words, that's just going to be this squared, that's going to be 3g over 2r times x. Okay? What else do we need? Well, we're going to need some angles. So what I'm going to do is just draw a dotted line up here. And I'll just say that this angle in here is the angle alpha. So that would be the same as drawing a dotted line up there. And let's say we mark in a solid line from here down to P. That's the radius R. Then that angle will be alpha in here, and that angle alpha corresponds to this angle up here, alpha. Remember, the depth here is d. So when it comes to doing trigonometry for alpha, sine alpha, cos alpha, what have you, we can use the ratios of these sides of this right angle triangle. So when it comes to the first part of this question, finding the magnitude of the normal reaction of the bowl on P in terms of M and G. In other words, we've got to look at R here. What we need to do is resolve in towards the centre of the circle. Okay, so for part A, if we resolve in towards the centre here, then we're going to have R sine alpha as the component of R acting towards the centre. And that's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, which we've seen is 3gx over twice the radius. Now when it comes to sine alpha, we can see from the triangle up here, sine alpha is equal to x over r. So therefore we have r times x over the radius r equals m times 3g x over 2r. And I can multiply both sides by r, that will cancel those out, and I can divide through by x. Okay, so those x's cancel. And rearranging this then for r just gives me r equals 3 over 2 mg. And there's the normal reaction then expressed in terms of M and G. Now for the next part, part B, we've got to find D in terms of R. And to do this, what we need to do is just resolve vertically. I'll take upwards as positive. So doing that, we've got the component of R upwards is R cos alpha. And then 
minus the weight mg must equal zero. So therefore, we know what cosine of alpha is. Cosine of alpha is d over r. And we've also got r from here. So if we do that substitution, we've got 3 over 2 times mg times cosine of alpha, which is d over r. Then I'm going to add the mg to both sides. That's going to equal mg. I can see now that I can cancel out these m's. And I think we're nearly there now. If I just rearrange this, multiply both sides by 2r and divide by 3, you then end up with d equaling 2 thirds r. The g's will also cancel one another out. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then on how to handle a problem like this.